Artificial intelligence is the rage within military circles and especially the United States Air Force. So will drones replace actual fighter pilots? Hi folks and welcome back to the Storm and Cellar. The United States Air Force has plans to purchase at least a thousand what they call loyal drone fighters that can't refuse orders and are cheaper than normal jets. In 2019, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, whose sole purpose in life is to plan for technology of the future, began studies of how to utilize artificial intelligence for future military fighter aircraft. The research began in a program called Alpha Dogfight. The competition was between various AI simulators in a F-16 type aircraft from various aerospace contractors, which included Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and a small company called Heron Systems. Now the final competition was this in this simulation was an aerial dogfight, which included an actual F-16 pilot called Banger in one simulator and Heron AI in the other. The outcome was incredible. The AI quickly made a clean gunshot shooting Banger down. And you have to ask, was this a fluke? Nope. The events was repeated in several other engagements and Heron won every time. The kill shots were contributed to AI's ability to process its code faster than Banger could think. Banger also said all the maneuver tricks a good fighter pilot might utilize was ineffective against Heron's AI aggressive moves. Now, the previous competitors were mostly only effective in head-to-head -head gunshots, but Heron was effective in all aspect attacks. It didn't matter where he was at. It was Heron's AI creativity in the attack that wowed DARPA, and Heron won the DARPA contract hands down. So the Air Force received an improved Heron AI, if you can imagine that, to use on its XQ-58 Valkyrie Skyborg drone which they've been experimenting with for years. Skyborg sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie like Arnold Schwarzenegger playing a cyborg, huh? The Air Force plan is to utilize thousands of these drones eventually to augment manned aircraft as wingmen. All the sensors that will be in the fifth and sixth generation fighter aircraft will be in the drones as well. So the pilot can either control the new pilotless wingman or they can be launched autonomously. This will allow the drones, which will be lighter than normal aircraft, armed with guns and missiles and a full suite of sensors, and not have any real G limitation to engage the contested enemy environment and return without the risk of losing a valuable pilot. So when will this take place? It's not released yet, but I would say very soon. The Air Force and the U.S. Navy already has drones which have been put through their paces and landing uh, on board aircraft carrier already. The limiting factors, as I see it at this point, will obviously be developing tactics and the test and evaluation process, which can be fast-tracked if an operational need arises. Contract awards have already been let to Boeing, General Dynamics, Kratos, and Northrop Grumman, and Shield AI, who bought Heron after it won the DARPA contract, has been proven to be a highly effective system with algorithms ready to be put into the XQ-58. Once the right airframe is selected, production of a thousand drones will likely be reduced in time and cost, saving taxpayers billions of dollars. Hey, what do you guys think? Will this be a wave of the future for air warfare? Uh, will it, there be pilotless tankers and cargo aircraft in the future? Let me know by putting your comments below. I really want to hear what you think. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends or enemies. So until next time, make sure your takeoff and landings equal.